Hi guys, Ryu here with another video for Blender. In this one, we're gonna talk about problem with booleans. Just before we start, guys, Blender Bros is on Patreon, so if you'd like to support us, we would really appreciate it. We get some fantastic stuff over there for all three tiers, including some courses, critiques, and it's just incredible for everyone. People who use add-ons, people who don't use add-ons, you know, everyone can find something really great for themselves. And November is going to be really big, and we got some really cool stuff coming up. Uh, an amazing uh, course uh, for add on workflow. So, check out our Patreon link in the video description. Let's grab a cube and let's actually turn on the cavity so we can see stuff a bit better. And let's go here to this wrench and add a bevel modifier, okay? Now, this is going to be a vanilla tooth for, you know, people who don't use add-ons. I'm using machine tools because who doesn't? And it's a free add-on. And if you don't know how to use it, I got videos on it. So go ahead and watch it. Link in the video description, okay? To the video and to the add-on as well. Um, most, mostly I use it for switching between object mode, which is this one, and edit mode, which is this one, right? Normally in Blender, what you need to do is press tab and one, two, three here to uh, axis, vert, edge, or face mode, or object mode, right? I, I do it just with point menu, so I press my tab, hover my mouse, release, and I'm done, right? And uh, another point menu, um, point menu I'm going to be using, that's for directions, so a viewport, right? So top, right, left, bottom, etc. And I'll be doing this really quickly, so, you know, get used to it. Now, let's talk about this cube, right? We have this bevel, we need to adjust it a bit, okay? We need to add some segments to it and uh, shade it smooth. And then we need to sacrifice a lamb and perform a ritual dance. Where was this stuff? Um, here, change to angle. That's what I wanted. Uh, right click, shade smooth, go here and click auto smooth and we should be fine. And then we need to, of course, add weighted normals to fix this kind of like a really awkward shading. If you can see that, if I turn it on and off, you see the shading, sh shading shifts a bit. You can fix it by the weighted normals. It's going to flex those big faces, right? Now, that's a lot of work for uh, adding a bevel. Whereas in hard ups, I can show you, you can do it in uh, one click. Okay, so if I had hard ups on, right? and just created a cube, right? All I need to do to add bevel to it is press Q and press a bevel, and it will literally add three segmented bevel with angle, at auto smooth, shaded smooth, and you know, you're done. And all you need to do then is press Q and alt click on sharpen, and you edit weighted normals. Let's keep this cube here for a minute, because I wanna show you something else. Now, let's go back to our vanilla uh, situation, right? Let's grab another cube and put it somewhere here. Now, let's say that I wanted to boolean this uh, this cube, right? So I want to cut this cube, okay, with this cube, right? So what I need to do is select this cube, select this cube with Shift, and then press Ctrl minus. And if this doesn't work for you, it means that you don't have bool tools enabled, which means you have to go to Edit Preferences, type here bool tools, and this is the native Blender native add-on. So click this checkbox, Save Preferences, and you're good to go. What it will do it will allow you to use shortcuts like uh, Ctrl minus on an numpad, or plus on an numpad, or forward slash on an numpad to perform boolean operations. So now let's let's look at this. You got this boolean here going on. Um, and everything looks fine, right? Everything looks fine. But I'll tell you why it's fine. Because we have hard ups enabled. Okay? That's why it's fine. If I disable hard ups, right? Okay, so let's go to hard ups. Save preferences. And I'm going to do this again. So select the cube, delete the boolean, right? Select this shape and control minus, and boom. And see, the problem is that hard ups. Uh, sorted the modifiers for us so you actually what it did it moved the boolean modifier on top of this whole stack and you did you have to do this manually for every single boolean you create in vanilla blender and that's why we use hard ups okay so like i said you need to move it above weighted normals and above the bevel okay otherwise 
it will not work okay so that's one second issue with booleans you can run into is that for example when you um let's create another cube right so let's grab another cube you can just delete this one by the way and move it somewhere here and uh, let's actually cut it somewhere here so let's do this and control minus okay now let's move this one a little bit closer to the edge you know somewhere here right okay let's see what's gonna happen so let's select this cube and let's move this boolean at, on top of uh this bevel if you want to be able to see this more clearly um you can you can collapse these modifiers here okay now you see this problem here right this overshooting it's caused by basically bevel overshooting itself now if i go to edit mode right you can just see a cube nothing has changed because this bevel modifier is not applied it's simply running on the on the bevel on the on the shape and it's alive if i actually applied everything in here right so i apply all these you'll see the problem now the bevel you see is overshooting on its on itself right it's literally two so you got verts on top of verts because you got two bevels on top of one another okay so in this situation what you need to do is grab this boolean right and move it a little bit to um to the right okay so on a, on x axis so you see there's like a line here and line here that's where the bevels end okay one of these bevels ends here and the one that ends here so you got this spacing like a buffer uh, in between or uh, you need to change the bevel width okay so you simply go here to amount you can hold shift to make it more precise and you simply dial it down and you see that the bevel size is actually changing okay so that's a second uh, issue with bevel another issue that you can come up uh, we can run into with bevels is the um, um, flip normals okay so if for example in this case in this case the geo is very simple so you're not gonna happen but occasionally we have a complicated geometry or you for example merging geometry with a boolean that's called union by control plus so you're merging two shapes together and they complicate it you can end up with flip normals because blender doesn't know which face should be facing which way so if i flip this face right you can see now it's flipped because geo right let me just grab a uh, quad sphere um if i go here right and i remove and i remove these faces okay i'm just gonna delete them if i go to face orientation here right you can see that the blue is outside and the red is inside so if i look inside of the sphere everything inside is red because that's the inner part of the mesh like a jacket is the inner part and outer part okay so this one is flipped and this is what's gonna cause problems with your bevels okay so you can select everything alt n and recalculate outside and everything should be peachy all right so let's go back here now that problem is bevels which is really common is when you again let's grab this sphere okay and uh duplicate it shift d and select this one with shift and control minus okay now when i apply this modifier here okay so i'm gonna apply this uh this boolean okay and i'm gonna right click and shade smooth and go here and auto smooth everything's gonna be perfect yeah and the problem is going to start when I'm going to introduce, you know, modifiers to it. For example, a bevel. Boom. Everything is going to go to hell, okay? Angle, three segments. Now let's increase the, uh, inc you know, change the amount. You see that the bevel, no matter what you do, you can't change the the size of the bevel. And because the clamping, uh, clamp overlap was turned on by default. If I turn it off, you can actually create a bevel that will overshoot other geometry, Okay. And this is exactly what we want here because we want this bevel to be a little bit thicker but you can see what's it, what's it doing to our geo right it's just completely messing up everything okay and this is completely normal right this is nothing unusual this is something that you need to deal with when you um, model hard surface because you're gonna have to clean a lot of shit okay so get used to cleaning now there are some automated tools you could use like for example machine uh, mesh machine but you know you're still gonna have to do some cleanup okay so for example if i move this uh, vert by pressing g twice gg right and slide it 
I could move these ones, these uh, these two uh, words together by pressing one, and that's a machine tools uh, um, option one. If you don't use machine tools, you can go to M and press at last. It's gonna merge at the last word you selected, right? But you know, like I said, you're still gonna have some uh, issues with your shading that you're gonna have to take care of this way or another. Okay, like for example, this angle on here is way too big. Uh, for this mesh to handle it, right? So you probably would need to run something like this, maybe, you know? Okay, so, you know, it will never be, uh, the shading will never be perfect, but you can get it close to perfect. You might want to run some parameter loop in here as well, you know, like this, okay? So there are many ways of fixing it, but you'll have to deal uh, with, uh, you know, with these issues um, when you create this kind of crazy bullions, okay? And usually what it's caused by is either, you know, the loop is being on the bevel, like here, it just literally runs through the bevel, okay? So I could select all these and this one, press 1 and match them. I could move this one away from the mesh and Bob Janko, you know, fixed, right? And you see, this is getting cleaner already, so this is how you clean this mess. These angles are still here too big, so probably what we need to do is move this one slightly, you know, closer to, to this edge. It's gonna clean it and you know it takes time but there's no other way to do it guys uh, you know you need to learn how to clean your mess so you could probably combine this two and the triangle over there will be fine if it isn't simply remove it so there you go and we can run this edge around here if you wanted to there you go so you know that's another issue that you can run into uh, with bullions and you will run into these kind of issues you know at a lot especially when you create a little bit more complicated bullions in curved surfaces right another thing that is quite common uh, is the uh, boolean overlap so when you have a geometry that is called planar so you know a, a boolean that's kind of lays on one another, right? So you get boolean at the same height and depth, what not with the cutter, and you cut it, you know, you're gonna run into weird kind of issues because Blender cannot figure out which one is which. So uh, usually what, what you can do is just simply slightly change the uh, size or position because uh, there's not an issue with uh, with a boolean that's, let, let me just show you with hard ups because it's gonna be a bit easier. Uh, because I can really precisely cut with a knife and use the same uh, same object as a, as a boolean. So let me just grab this cube here and go to side view. And actually, I'm going to use a box cutter as well. Or in fact, you know what? We don't need a box cutter. We can actually do it with hard ups. So let's make it bigger, right? And I'm going to select both. And I'm going to um, knife it, okay? So now this cube is actually knifed, has this, you know... Um, has these loops going on right across but now I'm going to use this cutter and simply um, use difference and now it worked perfectly which is uh, I think due to the recent hard ups update enabling uh, a new algorithm to actually deal with it but um, I think in the vanilla blender this would be impossible let's actually check this let's turn the uh, turn the hard ups off Okay, and let's just make an experiment. So let's turn it off, select the boolean, select this shape in control minus, okay? It works as well, which is uh, surprising because occasionally what's happening, right, is that if you have a boolean running on exactly the same area where the uh, where there is an edge of an object, right, so the kind of, uh, like I said, coplanar, co it's, it you know it could it could cause some issues with boolean simply not being visible as in you literally cut the shape and it's nothing happening okay like for example if I let's try this let's uh, let's grab this one and shift D and P to its own selection select this one and extrude it and then let's bring it inside okay and then let's try to boolean this you see that's what I'm talking about. Look, it not nothing happened, right? But the boolean actually works. But if I select the boolean and scale it just a little bit, boom, because it's now outside this area of this, uh, um, of this, you know, of these edges of the object, right? So, anyway, that's probably um, a fourth and last most common issue that I can think of on the top of my head. 
with bullions. So, well, I hope that helps you guys out and explain some um, basic issues with bullions. Uh, we have a fantastic um, handbook that we created together with Josh Gambrell on the Blender Bros brand, and it's called um, the Topology Handbook. Okay, and it's available on Gamroad, Blender Market, ArtStation, BlenderBros.com. I flipped normals and I think CG trader as well, but I'm not quite sure. Uh, if you want to ma uh, master bullions and bullion cleanup, this is a perfect uh, tutorial for you. And it contains, I think, 20 examples and half of them are with add-ons and half of them are without add-ons. So, you, you know, you, you know, you will know the vanilla ways and the add-on ways and everything is mm, included, uh, normal transfer, uh, mesh machine cleanup and so on and so forth. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the vid, give us a like and sub if you did. As usual, there are links in the video description to hard ups, box cutter, uh, machine tools, deco machine, mesh machine, all these add-ons that I'm using all the time in my videos and my workflow, and I highly recommend, so go ahead and look at, look at them and, you know, uh, get them if you like them. I, I really couldn't recommend them more.